to what is good today is thursday we are here and we have a lot of orders these are orders from the last two days because me and jordan were too lazy to pack stuff up yesterday no just kidding we have uh, been trying to use this uh or utilize this pickup because we don't have parking so it's annoying to go walk and get our car and then come pick up the stuff and bring it out so we've been trying to schedule pickups like every other day here we got some hats just done blue jays kings halberton man hopefully he gets well he was balling and uh he got pretty hurt the other day right i don't know he didn't come back did he damn yeah that looked bad so shouts to him here we got the ame nasir jones shirt and then we got like a variety of sneakers in here i'm gonna let gary do these because they look like something he might want to wear it was somewhat, somewhat oh we actually sold them somewhat of my yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the dude, hopefully it fits the dude. Alexander McQueen, the studded joints. Yeah, I mean, not me would wear this, but Jordan, you know, after the Valencia's. Here we got the, the Pat Ewing beef and broccolis. I can say that my brother's a big uh, Knicks and Ewing fan, so when these came out, I remember going crazy trying to get him a pair. I finally found him a pair, and then they ended up releasing so many of them, it didn't even matter. Uh, the blue, like, OG colorway. These are definitely something you would rock, for sure. The over? Oh, yeah. Yeah. With the rose on it? Yeah. Lover boy shit. <laughs> I mean, I thought they were fine. I'm not gonna lie. Not, I think yeah, the bottoms are cool. They look yeah. The, the rose. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fire. Maybe I'll walk. Let's, let's tighten, tighten that lace up real quick. Gotcha. You know, make sure they know. Like, uh, next up, we got this Dunk CDG, like see-through kind of joint. I never knew these existed till they came out. Call me a, whatever you want to call me, but they sold. So these are heading to Cali. That's what I will wear. Hey man, you see Dunk Dunk. This is definitely some oh fuck come on man moke or mock fear god mock these really don't go for any money but thankfully we sold them for something last up these just sold i'm not sure if this is last up but these just sold and uh i was just thinking about these the other day because i saw in the episode we bought these and i was like damn that was a pretty good buy i think we paid about 40 for them and finally after some you know time and effort they sold for about 100 shipped so they're going out let's not forget about these this is a five and a half used pure money four i don't really want to i mean like it we, we, it, it, was a, it was a tough deal when the dude came in. Shouts to that dude. He came in and sold us a bunch of stuff. Jordan and Gary were kind of not with it. They were kind of just like, yo, like this is just stuff that's going to be annoying to sell, stuff that's not going to sell, stuff that's going to just like take too much time and, and, and real estate in the store and the warehouse. And I was like, bro, you guys are crazy. Like, and they looked at each other like, dude, this guy's, this guy's smoked a bad one. Like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But we're actually probably in the profit now after this one, right? Probably. Yeah, more than likely. And we have a couple more items from that uh, buyout again. I think to the best of my ability, I try to know what I could sell, what I can't sell. Not only that, but like sometimes you just got to like, if you see a good deal, take it, even if it's going to take a while to sell. We are a store, so we want to have inventory, especially now that we're expanding the online store and the online presence. We want to have inventory. So that means stuff doesn't have to sell. Stuff can sit there all day. At the end of the day, this is a good product. And I think someone out there will finally buy it. And that's what happened and the, these are actually heading overseas so that uh, makes it even more interesting last up we got some 3xl giant shorts shouts to the dude who copped these off the instagram story it's definitely hard to find 3xl and 2xl stuff so we sold these for the low and that's about it bucks laying in the rest of them i have to get him off of that so we had about like 109 hats come in tuesday and me and jordan took flicks and put them up that same day so he finished that i just finished posting those hats yesterday i finished i, 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 I was just i was, I was home i was <laughs> I was like watching the videos, I was just posting, and then finally, you know, literally a day after they sell, so. But I, I think that's, that's, I think the good thing about like having extra hands though, is that like we both were here at the same time just flicking it up. One person was doing like 109 pictures, oof, that would've been hell, but you know, luckily enough, like we're able, you know, flick it up really fast and able to, you know, get up as fast as possible. So if you're 778, 734, 758, 715, you have a ton, a ton of variety of hats. We got more hats we gotta take pictures of today. So yeah, if you look for hats, go on our eBay page, check it out. AG got one more shoe. Animal Instinct 3. I don't hate what Jordan Brand was doing with this, but they could have just left it for the Air Max 1. Somewhat disrespectful to do this to a Jordan 3 now that I'm like really looking at it. It's just like too much, man. Definitely too much. Something like that just shouldn't have been done. But you know, someone out there is definitely gonna get freaky with these, man, for sure. Jordan, if you wanna do those, last but not least, the uh, 13s. Oh. Yeah. So this shoe, oh boy, a couple like a month, month or two ago. Twice. Yeah, twice. He called. He called in DM. Two but, times. Yes. <laughs> highly interested. I want to buy the pack. Ready to pay. We ready to pay. We usually don't do cash out, but to secure a big deal, we will do cash out. That we, sounds bad. Scammers out there be like, oh, secure a big deal. All right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs>
But now he called about it. He's like, he was really interested. He really, really wanted this shoe. He wanted the whole pack. We told him how much. We sent him the info, and he just ghosted us. You know, that's cool. But like, I'd rather you say like you're not interested instead of just ghosting us yeah, and like bugging in, us. Let me chime in, guys. It's totally cool if we start making a deal and we start negotiating, and then you guys don't want to do the deal. Like, we're all human beings, right? So like, it just would be nice of you guys to say, hey, uh, I'm not interested in anymore, or you could, uh, you know, see if someone else would buy it, or I don't really have the money right now. Maybe I'll hit you up next week, but just stop. Stop responding I mean if we stop responding to you guys you guys are gonna cry about it and tell us that we're like the worst business ever and we don't respond and we don't care so you know it, it goes both ways so not only just us any other business to any other you know uh, just life in general. yeah life in general like whoever you're talking to just respond and if you don't want to do a deal or you don't want to meet up with them or you don't want whatever it is just say hey I'm not interested totally cool you could say no it's totally okay but uh, just going ghost it's not cool back to silky J <laughs> but yeah, like he said, like he goes to us. But lucky enough for us, we're never in a rush to sell a shoe. Like we, we're really good with patience here. A little patience never hurt nobody, and the shoe ended up selling. So we still got the 14s in there. But yeah, we're just gonna continue to pack stuff up and get it ready for the pickup. Any predictions? Oh man. Well, I have a shoe that my boy, my boy, my homie I grew up with told me he's coming in for. So I would be lying if I didn't say the Air Max One Safari might go today because he said he's coming in. But I don't know if he's gonna come in again. He might not. But other than that, I'm gonna say a Raging Bull Five because those are just hard. Yeah, man. I should just jump. To... Those are just hard. That's a cool shoe. He stole my pick, per usual. I'm going a it's really vague, but I'm gonna say a Dunk. I'm gonna say either those that we're about to put up, those pink joints. I forgot the name of it, like the orange pearls or whatever, or the mint green Dunks. I feel like one of those two may sell. I'm still thinking. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, May is about to be, you know, that's, that, that summer weather. I feel like the low top, so let's just go with a, a Sakai. I don't want to copy the dunk, so let's go with the Sakai, that blue Sakai right there. Hopefully we predict one of the right shoes. Hopefully get some good stuff in. Also, also, shout out to Top Shop. I checked my pace out this morning in my email, because like, I get the email. <laughs> shout out to Top Shop. Then Jordan got a raise, so you know. Uh -huh. So hopefully we continue to go up, and uh, everyone gets raises, and everyone uh, does well. It's crazy That's the goal. Do. It's crazy what a year can do. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah, I was just thinking the other day, I was like, remember we didn't have a warehouse? Cause like we moved so much stuff to the warehouse, it's just crazy to think, man. Like I literally had like a box is just stopped a all closet the way up. this big when I started and now it's just like we have uh more space than we need, which is good because eventually we're gonna need more space. <laughs> Check Gary. <laughs> Yo, this thing big as hell. I mean, I'm fine. saying, like, you couldn't wear a hat that big? Nah, not anymore, man. Nah, bro. I remember like, back in the day, yeah, like, you. I'm 2000. I'm on your dip set, you throw a bandana on there. Like, ah, that's that's different, but, like, that. but yeah, um, so that, that's crazy. He's definitely right. Uh, what a year can change. I mean, last year, what, what? It was basically the pandemic, you know, in store stuff was said to be done. So, see what happens. All right. Both on the half. Right. Which one good? Mocha's. It looks like just half. Oh, yeah. Alright. Thank you. It's good, man. You don't have a senior in a minute. Yeah. I don't know if he's got a stash or was this like a restock or something? Uh, no, I have it in the stash. I have yeah. a bunch of like three other sizes. I got the A maze in. Uh, they're both nine and a half? Yeah, yeah both new. It's just four and five. Yep. What way of payment do you have, bro? I forgot. PayPal? Uh, Zelle. Zelle? Alright, cool. Uh, can you do 400 each? 415. 410? 410. <laughs> That's cool. What's that, 820? Uh, yeah. Right. You said Zell? Mm -hmm. I should have you in here, right? Uh, yeah. Just double check you got it, bro. Yeah, got it. Thank you for filming the intro, and the uh, loyal client came in, sold us some mochas, so we're definitely happy about getting more mochas in. They haven't really shot up like I thought. Probably gonna take a little more time. Getting these in hand and dealing with the Hyper Royal and the University Blue makes me like these a lot more because, as you can see, I'm a black toe guy. Black toe ones are one of my favorites. These are totally smoked, but I like wearing them used like that. And this looks like one of those shoes that, with time and age, will just look very nice uh, worn in. Honestly, forgot we have mochas. Yeah, we got mochas on deck. We definitely have mochas on deck. It depends on when we want to talk about it, but we always have mochas on deck. It's always good to have mocha in the morning, you know what I mean? I don't drink coffee, though. Big bath. That shit don't look good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Red Bull drinker, though. <laughs> so Red Bull, I'm send them in. Address is in the bio. Duncan, me, Berwin, Gary, loyal customers. Starbucks, too, you know? So yeah, got some mochas in. Um, hopefully some more good stuff comes in. What I was getting to 
earlier. I don't really remember, but hopefully it's a good day. And yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, do you have like a price in mind for everything together at all? Like I said, I'm an open dude, so you tell me. Where we're at? We'll, right, go, cool. we'll go from there. <laughs> and you're just looking for cash, right? I'm looking for cash, yeah. Okay, cool. I have the black one at home. I'm not messing with that white one, man, because I'm going to get shit on it. They get messed up so, quick, right? Yeah, I figure I'm just going to get about the six from you. Right? Yeah, no, definitely. I remember. I'm into the sixes, and that's it. And I don't care. <laughs> hey, man, it's oh. understandable. <laughs> so these are just tried on, pretty much? No, these are actually, uh, I think these are, yeah, that's it. Um, just tried they're on, brand new. if anything. They have the stock. X tag yeah. on there. Really? I, I don't like the color. Yeah. And I check. It said void and everything on there. So. Oh, so you know how to check? Yeah, already, I know huh? everything. Hey, it's, hey, all, hey. it's all on check. Check too, if you want me to show you. Oh no, I know that. Oh right, yeah. But there's a lot of people don't know that about the void. Oh yeah, the newer yeah. ones. And those, I think they were very lightly worn. What are you looking for for something like this? I'm gonna be honest with you. I was given to me. The price tag is three fifty on it. I don't know. You shoot me out a number. And you just want to shoot a number for all this right. stuff too, right? Yeah, just for everything. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see what we can do. So you don't really have much in mind for anything, right? Let's see. I mean, the hoodie's all over the place. Yeah. I mean, it can go for a 250, then it can go all the way to like five, six hundred. Yeah. yeah um, a little over five would be good for everything. Dude, I want you to make money, dude. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I do the same thing you do, so. Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't really mean that much to me. I mean. Yeah. Like five, five fifty. We can do five fifty. Okay, that's, that's cool. fair with you. Yeah. That's cool. Because I know good. you're gonna make double or triple. I try to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the goal. Um, and you prefer cash if you have it, right? If you have it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let me check. Uh, I haven't had the cash yet. One, two, three, four, five, five. Hopefully you make 1500 or 2000 I don't know. Hopefully. No, I hear that. Anything in mind, bro? Probably, uh, what's my call? See if we can work out a... Trade or something? Yeah. What are you looking for? Something good. What size is that uh, dunk down here um, in the case there? Oh, nine and a half. I think you got rid of yesterday or whatever. Which one? I think the University Blue. What size? I don't know. Uh, maybe it was, I thought you said 10 and a half. We might have another. We actually have a lightly used one. Or is that it? You looking for a new one probably? Yeah. Uh, 10 and a half, we have one. Let me check. Yeah, these are new. I'm gonna check those out. How much you asking for these? Well, did you have a price in mind for all three pairs that you were looking uh, for? I was thinking around 700 for all three. They're all new? Yeah, everything's brand new. Right. And you want to possibly trade for these? Yeah, and or like obviously you could cash on time. Or either something else as well. Yeah, we're depending. Depending. we could probably do that. Uh, these would be four fifty, so I'd owe you the remainder. We'd have two fifty on top. I, I wasn't gonna have a cash for that too. I came for a little bit. So I'm worried about the ones. I think they're gonna come down. I want to take one in. You know what I mean? But that's fair. Yeah, that's cool. With me, that's cool. With you. I just do that. It'd be this plus two fifty, or like that you could look around and I mean, for see the if there's anything years, else. Mm -hmm. Keep the credit on file, whatever you want to do. But obviously, take the cash is probably the best option. Yeah. We can do that, yeah. Want to take the cash? Yep, got you, bro. You don't have any like apps, right? I do, but I never used it before, so I have no clue. So that was a time two fifty. At the time, and like, you need a battery? Oh, no. Sure. Sorry. Thank you. Until next time. Yeah. Two times. Just these two? What are you looking for? For a piece. For a piece? That's going to be hard for these, I know, for sure, just because they're used technically. But obviously, I know, I know, but you know, use is. Tough one. I don't know, I'm looking at them and then I'm like, you wear them, hey man. I, I'd rather have something comfortable. Though. So I've been getting those uh, Adidas ZX 8000s. Yeah. They're real comfortable. You sure you're looking for eight? Mm, what we're going to do? You, I know you got a cheaper price for what's up. This one's tough, uh, obviously, because no box right. and it's just because they're tape, but that's not a big deal. Uh, uh, obviously. Uh, those should still look brand new. No, they definitely look good. <laughs> <laughs> but you are just not last, not last, 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 last. I would say if we were doing yeah. cash, it'd be like 650. 680. 665. 670. 670. <laughs> Alright, 670 is there. What way of payment works for you? PayPal? Do I have a cash? Uh, no, we ran out of today early. People have been yeah, on us early. Most of them just done. That's done. PayPal, we did last. Oh, yeah. I just double check. You guys are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
just because it's all gone, yeah. You can't do it seven times. Hold on, so that's if we bought these like all together, it would be 270. If it was just these, honestly, we might have to be at retail because I feel like that's gonna sit. I don't know if you want to do the 470 or if you want to. I don't know if you tried to shop the 13th around at any other spots. Maybe. No, I haven't. It might be worth it. Maybe Cause we have, we have eight and a half already, so it's like. All right. Yeah, I could do retail for 200 for those. So you want to so you want to hold on to these? Yeah, I hold on. To them. Okay, cool. So retail each. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So I think that's 190 each. What way of payment do you have? Uh, can you do cash? Uh, I don't think we can today. We could do. You have them? Yes, we could use them. I don't know why they're not doing well to be honest. The blueprints were really good. Well, yeah, the blueprints are nice. Yeah, let's double check you guys. Oh uh, wait, isn't it 200 people? I said if I took the Kobe. Oh okay, okay. Yeah. All right, that's cool, cool. Sorry about that, bro. No, here you go, man. Peace, man. Oh, no, they're not brand new, honestly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, check them out, though. They should be in, like, really good condition. They're just, like, been sitting in someone's collection for a minute. They're all 34. And the black ones, too. And honestly, if you wanted to buy a couple, I'd probably give you a deal, too. 160 for two or some shit, like, 80. Mm -hmm. These two? Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Um, so, what did I just say? 160 cash, right? Mm -hmm. You need a bag, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. Please. Yeah. Go. That's really yeah. Good. Appreciate right. you as always, bro. You said strictly eight and a half, right? Mm -hmm. so I was gonna say, I think we have a nine too. Bro. Eight and a half more. Yeah. The perfect fit. Yeah, more of a perfect fit. Or no. Peach. Yeah, yeah, it's peach cobbler monster salad. <laughs> I'm mad I didn't catch this release. I've been waiting. Yeah. I'm a nigga. I don't even be online for sneakers. I'm reading these red ones. I can't believe I just missed them. I, was, yeah. I felt stupid. But the red, I mean, the green one's cool. But that, yeah, no, no, the red ones is. That's like, I remember, man. Yeah, no, the red ones is. about the organ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cool. I've been seeing them on the foot with certain shit. They cool. Mm -hmm. They different, you know? Oh, yeah, they, 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 they pop in green. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even yeah. wear five no more. That's why. Yeah, but that's... See, that's grab those. Always. It's quiet. Yeah, these are quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Working on green ones for me, man. I take them too late on, bro. Oh, the, uh, the organs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me lace this one back up like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, lace them back up. They mine now, man. We just gonna take them, bro. Oh, you need back? That'd be dope. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. Seven. All good, should be all in here. Sorry for North the back. Appreciate you. To the next one. Yeah, cool. So you want to just, like trade these towards those? Yeah, maybe? I mean, uh, if cool. you want to add cash towards that, we can do that too. I mean, like, I have to pay you. Yeah, it works, because these are, you know, uh, they have no box. No box? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But if you want to check those out. You can um, climb on too. You got to be over here if you want. No problem, bro. Yeah, it'd probably be pretty low just because of the wear, to be honest. Yeah. But let's see what we could do. Nothing at all in line for, like, credit wise for these? I'm oh, cool, whatever, honestly. Probably like 50. So you'd add, like, 250 for those if you want to do that. Yeah. But yeah. let him grab the other one for you. You can check it out. Uh, so it would be 250 Do you have Venmo or Zelle or anything like that? Yeah, I got Zelle. All right, cool. I can do Venmo. All right, yeah, Venmo or Zelle, just because usually we charge for the cards. That's all. Glad someone grabbed those, man. You don't see those often. Yeah. Oh, where you Here's called? This scan code. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to pay. You get to pay. Yep. Uh, do you need a bag for those? Yeah, I got those. All right, Appreciate it, boys. Appreciate you, man. Until next time. Right. Have a YouTube, we are back. It's hilarious that these just came in in similar condition than the one that I did the skit with. So, hey, guys, it was pretty funny. Uh, he, he took 50 store credit. So he gave 50 store credit towards some Olympic 7s. Shout out to that kid who, who came by. Olympic 7s are definitely rare to find nowadays. It's a uh, classic colorway and silhouette that, uh, you know, Jordan Brand should definitely make again. Other than that, we're uh, putting stuff on gold, eBay. We're packing stuff up, dropping stuff off at the post office. We sold some jeans. We sold some Raging Bull 5s. So, my my prediction was technically right but i guess jordan's was technically right too because he was gonna say fives until i said them after i said them i remember my man hit me the other night well last night asking if i had them i told him no and then we got one in later that night and then i texted him he never said he was coming in so i wasn't sure so whatever maybe i cheated a little bit but we sold some clay yeezys we sold some raging bull fives olympic sevens is that it subi jeans Subi jeans, sold the clay on goat. Too. Wow, that's that's bizarre. I've also had that eight and a half for a long time. But price on those brand new now is five fifty, so four hundred. He got a he got a good deal. We hooked him up with that. And oh yeah, we bought some other stuff, some veneer dunks, some good U eleven and a half stuff that I might tuck. Look at those. Look at those. Look at the wear on them. Now look at those. Oh wow, look at what a coincidence. Look at the wear on them. They look beautiful, man. One's worn in, especially from uh, twenty fifteen or before. It's other than that, we're going to continue to uh, list stuff, sell stuff, take pictures of stuff. We have a video dropping today, which is exciting, that I almost forgot about. And yeah, let's see what else happens. 250 might be a little high for use. Technically, they are really clean, but... Yeah, I mean, it's just, they're just not new. They're not going to pass as new. And you're just looking for cash for them? Yeah. Um, do you have Venmo, Zelle, something like that? Uh, honestly, bro, if we did cash, we'd probably be at 200. 
Alright, right, cool. I'll probably be at 140 for everything. 140 for everything? Yeah. Alright, nah, that's good. Alright. See, my grandmother bought me these the same exact shoes when I was back in middle wow. school. And I literally wore like literally That's wore them about, out until the, until the soles popped off. And I was just you know scrolling through eBay today, and I saw them. I was like, oh man, like wow, that's all the crazy, memories, man. Like, Dude, I'm glad we could provide that. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, it'd be 75 bucks. That's cool. Some people don't understand that eBay thing. Obviously, you know, sometimes they, they try to get people in trouble for going, you know, outside, but you seem to get the message for sure. I didn't even realize you guys were over here. I was just like, yeah, like no, I figured that. Through, and then when you said that, I was like, oh crap, like, I, I, I know where that is. Here you go. Uh, do you need a bag for these? Yeah, if I could, yeah, that would be great. I'm not the type of person that will sit there and, like, stare at shoes, but, yes. you know, I can appreciate this. Thanks, guys. Yo, right, enjoy them, man. Have a good one. I will. You too. So, if you guys just saw that, gave me goosebumps a little bit, man. Glad we could provide that experience, man. He said, uh, he says, Grandma, Right? His yeah, grandma yeah. bought him the same exact shoes back in the day and he wore them till the soles fell off. And then you saw them on eBay. He made us an offer earlier and I saw you using in West Orange and I think I responded with like a higher price and I said, hey, pull up, cash in store, we can do it. And uh, he, lo and behold, he showed up. We talked about it yesterday. I think we talked about it Tuesday. We talked about it every day, but just fate, just like, just certain signs like, Especially on Tuesday, that was wild. Yeah, like Duke said, like, yeah, my grandmother literally bought me um, these shoes and like, you know, he sees it again and it's in New Jersey, it's convenient, like 10 minutes drive. Over, yeah. So like- Definitely connecting the dots, like, that's a new thing too, is it's like, it's really cool to see the dots connect, whether someone sells us something and then we sell it to someone else that really appreciates it, or, I mean, like that pair of dunks, we bought those months and months back, probably. We probably weren't sure if it was a good investment or if it was worth the uh, profit, or if we were making any profit, and then just just like that, to me, it was all worth it. I mean, I don't even remember what we paid for those, but regardless, it was worth it. We made him happy. Probably a new customer was gonna be checking on our eBay store and checking on the store. So I can't be uh, happier. It's definitely a cool experience to see people appreciate things we bring to the table. We just had some some kids come in to sell some stuff. You know, guys, we always appreciate people bringing stuff to sell, but you know, you make it really difficult for us when you, tell, you don't tell us what you want for your stuff, right? So if you bring us a bunch of used sneakers that aren't popular and you don't tell us what you want for it, and we're gonna make you an offer, you might not like like it but if you're not telling us what you want how can we how can you be mad at us for our offer it just doesn't make sense come in with an idea of what you want for your product like when you see something around your house or like a shoe or something that you don't want you obviously want a price for it because you want to sell it everyone has a price for everything so when you come in here you know have your price ready because it makes everything easier make the negotiation easier and make it better like you may get a better price if you just say what you want opposed to you not saying anything you get upset and then not even negotiate no back and forth a negotiation is a negotiation right the kid i was dealing with he came in he had some Yeez, real Yeezys. Good shoe, sells well for us. He wanted 250. I opened the box. I said, oh, these are used. He said, no, I never used them. You guys saw what they looked like. I mean, they were unlaced. They were tried on. At that point, to us, they are used. Someone who walks in and wants a brand new Yeezy, I'm not gonna give him that pair and say these are brand new. No, I'm gonna say they're tried on or used. He wanted 250, which again, he knew what he wanted. It made sense. When you look at the prices, they're going for 250 to 275 brand new with a totally nice box, everything brand new. How could we pay 250? My guy had two vapor matches, smoke, and a pair of off-white river streets. Also smoke. No spikes on the bottom. No spikes. Bought it from another store, trying to resell it, thinking he's gonna get more, like whatever they Bring them back be. to that store and see how much they offer you there, because I promise you they're not gonna offer you. They might not even take them, but I promise you, I guarantee you that they wouldn't offer more than we just offered. They wouldn't even offer you. They'll probably pass. They'll probably pass. If you don't like our prices, sell the shit on your own. Or have, speak have up. Have some hustle. Have some hustle. Like sell the shit on yeah. your own. At the end of the day, you want a certain price. You know you're not gonna get it at, at certain stores or at every store. Sell on your own. You get that full whatever price you want. Guys, you could be happy. You want some want some info? Let me give you. Put you all into a couple websites. Craigslist. Y'all ever heard of that? You might not have. Back before I had all this, I was on Craigslist hustling, posting all these shoes, used shoes, new shoes. I'd post pre-orders before the a week before the shoe came out an ugly shoe whatever it is facebook marketplace ebay flashmark Atari. where's another one grailed grailed depop there's so many outlets to post your own stuff okay so like guys just just think about that if you're really trying to make money like that's the way to do it you can't go bring your stuff to someone else who wants to resell the stuff to make money like that's not how you're gonna maximize your profit you know we don't mean anything any negativity about this but again it just you know people come here and you guys get mad at us for making you all offers when you don't like Jordan asked the kid four times hey what do you want for your stuff hey what do you want for your stuff hey what do you want for your stuff doesn't give us a price so what are we supposed to do we're not gonna pay you a million dollars like we're gonna make you an offer the stuff was used not good terrible stuff that a lot of stores wouldn't take we're making you fair offers for what we think is fair and if you don't like it that's totally fine but at the end of the day 
it's a business. If you guys don't like a price, instead of on your way out while you're walking out and you're at the door say, oh, you hear how much he offered me? Yo, he really said this, da da da. Why don't you just tell us? Why don't you just say, hey, I don't like that offer. Why'd you offer me that? And then we'll break it down for you. We'll say, hey, sir, this shoe's not selling. This shoe got all the spikes off it. This is a Vapor Max that's multicolor that no one wants to wear, right? Like, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. But if you guys want to do the whole song and dance where y'all get outside and talk about how he didn't offer y'all enough and how we're a crappy store, whatever, that's cool too. Other than that, let's see what happens. Get store credit. I know you got the Stussies. Oh, size. Oh, nine. You want a nine? All right. Yeah, oh, so I just want to... I think we, I think we brought those Bring these yeah. in. Two Harachi, four Harachi. I don't know, I'd probably be pretty low with both of those. Could you hit uh, a buck for both, or is that too high? Can you do 75 together? Just because they don't really move. Mm -hmm. I'll do 80 for you. I do like 160. There's an 80. 80 split to 80. Yeah, just throw another 80 on top. Alright, he's gonna get those for you too. He's gonna right now, actually. Uh, card. Card? Alright. Black card? Big money. Alright. All right, you like your receipt? Email text print. No, I don't need one. You got a bag with these? Uh, no, I'm good. You good? Okay. Appreciate you. You guys buying long sleeves at this time? Ah, uh, what kind do you have? Uh, fair gun. Right. I mean, not fair gun, essentially. Alright, you can bring everything. Do you have a price of mine for everything? No, I'll, I'll listen. All right, good. How much are you thinking for the sweats? 40. Right. Supreme shirt? Nah, I don't know. Because uh, it's you, so. Anything in mind for the, uh, the tea? Probably like 30. This guy? 35. This? Probably 40, 50. Oh, let me get you a How much do you think for these? Uh, maybe 80. These? Nah, I don't know. Okay. This stuff I'll probably pass on. This stuff I'm gonna think about. These I'm definitely interested in. Can I just put on camera? Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. How much you say for, oh you say you didn't know for yeah, these, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright. How much you said for the sweats? 40 I think. I think I'll pass on these three stuff just because it's season and it's hard for us to kind of move sweats and stuff like that. These are just a little bit too smoke. These three stuff I'll be interested in. Probably wanna be at like a hundred here. I just have probably like 120 store credit here. When I say here, I can drop these down to 225 for you. 225 and then I'll be paying 25. All right, call it 125 and just add 100. Yeah, I'm done with that. All right, that's cool. And I'll get you the other one, check them out. You try them on too? Yeah, can I try them on first? Yeah, yeah, you go, bro. You guys don't have any more like 10 and a half or 10 on uh, ones that are like in the red color way? Change the plans, do these instead. This came in yesterday too, so. That's funny because it's fair too, but it's probably asking the high. Just a little bit more. How you want to pay the remainder? Uh, of course. All right, you have Venmo, Zell. Yeah, I got Venmo. All right, yeah, it's just if I charge you here, it's just a 3% fee. 325? Uh, yes. Got it. Uh -huh. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. You picked up the trails last week, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that was like two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. yeah. I got those and uh, Omar's at home. Yeah. Yeah, mostly clothing. I got like two shoes. Mm hmm. Three. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. I got That'll you. be easy. All right, bro. Be easy. Thanks for watching, man. All right. I'm not sure if I'd be interested in that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of the beat J's. Would you even like bother buying this? This is like, uh, it's like brand new. I just, I don't know. Nah, I'll probably pass on those. Right. Yeah, I just bought it because I had them and I haven't even worn them. So. The Premier Forces? No, nah, this is uh, Air Max. Oh. The black and red. Not the new ones I just bought. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Are these new or used? They're new, they're new. Do you have a price to mark everything? Uh, no, not really. I want to go through each one. Right. And I know that one's like a weird range. Mm -hmm. On GOAT and then on StockX, the, the highest bid is completely different. So what were you thinking for these? GOAT, it was like 270 highest offer. Mm -hmm. And then on StockX, it was, I think, maybe 240 or something. And, like, and was there anything that you saw that you were interested in trading for? I wanted those Amal Maneers, but you guys got rid of them right away. The yes. 10 and a half, and then those things like quick. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to get this. It's <laughs> crazy. Y'all y'all were just on the episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 is this, is this separate or you guys just get it? Okay. Okay. And the radio fly, bro. Is that little memory? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My kids. <laughs> <laughs> Came in handy. Probably like 240 around there. Probably gonna be a little high. I'm probably gonna be like the 190-ish. Probably, probably 190. Yeah. 90, you do 200? Or, uh, what would you do, like, uh, store credit? I'll do 200 store credit. Yeah. All right, yeah. so... For those? Yeah, for the inside uh, then. I'm not sure what you would offer for those. That was my first pair of sixes. Like, oh, yeah? during quarantine, during quarantine, I bought it, and it was, like, the first six I ever had. So, did you wear them? Yeah, I did. I wore them. I wore them, like, a few times. This is my first pair, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. And the first pair, like, I, I bought, like, I had, like, the infrared oh, and stuff yeah. like that, that, like, my brother gave me. But like, this is, like, the first pair that, like, I actually bought myself. And then once I bought those, I got the, the DMPs. 
Because then yeah. I was like, I started buying more stuff after that. I could, I could it. Probably past this because I'm seeing similar like stuff on the side. And then the back here. Oh, this is all used stuff. Oh, oh, like this one. Like great. Hopefully, you got some good wear out of it, though. That's, yeah, I just. I think that's a poor thing. You didn't even buy them for like 20 to put up. Like display. Like I know you guys got other pairs. Like this. Yeah, yeah, look. Trying to separate a toe yeah, in the back. The first pair of sixes is kind of like. The right side of the back is. um. Not too bad. Other than that, well, let's see what we come out to. I guess. How much, How much were you looking for for the cost team? That one's used. Yeah. I think I have another one in here now. Uh, you said you were at like 11 dollars That's probably the only one, my bad. No, you good, bro. So uh, this one's used, so can you do like 30, right 30, 30 store credit, 20 cash? Yeah, It'll it probably be like 15 store credit. Um, can you do 20 store credit? It's like, yeah, yeah, you can't. Well. Right, you can probably do pretty well. Alright, for 15 for that. Yeah. Yeah. Same with the Easter. So yeah, 215. Um, How much for this one? That one's used too, I'm not sure what you can do. I sold the hoodie here with the custom image. And now this is the t-shirt. How much do you have for this one? I know that you said you were pricey. I just sold the XL today. That's the double XL that I got? Yeah. It's like it kind of might pass on this. If you do 80, that would be like the lowest I could take. Because right now it's at 111 highest bid. So 97 payout. I know it's double XL, so. No, no, no. He likes double XL. Yeah, so. double XL. That's good. Um, I had it in my size. retail on it? Retail was 50, so it wasn't that bad. It's a cool shirt, man. Well, what we got with everything else? We're at 215 here right now. I was talking about pass, but if you wanted it, I'll throw it in. Pay was like 97. Can you do like 90, 85? Do like 70, 75? Nah, can you do like 85 then? Oh, you're still going through stuff? Yeah. No, yeah, I'll pick uh, that up because I was going to Let's put it to the side for now. I'm going to think right. about it. All right, probably pass on these. How much are you looking for these? Throw them in Crazy, these brands. I bought them and I never wore them, so. Like, you don't really do well with them. That's what I'm saying. Maybe like 30. Yeah, like, oh, this one has a. I'll be honest, yeah. they're hard to How much are you know. looking for this guy? You do like 120, 140 around that range. You probably pass on this one. That's just a season. How much are you looking for this guy? 200? Yeah, yeah, I have to pass, pass on this too. This is really? a tough move for us. This is not something we usually sell. Wow, again, it's a long sleeve. You probably want to take a while for us to sell or to move. More than likely, we're going to set. I'll say try to sell this on your own. Oh, I Possibly, full locker, or at least their um, thing probably get no, that. Locker, probably want to pass on these. I never win. Uh, pass on this stuff. Uh, How much you looking for for the hat? Do 20. And what about the shirt? Let me see sure everything else. It's interesting. I, I usually like would, but I think it's good. So like 240 there. You want to take here, right? these three okay. things for the best way of like 60? Nah, I just want to sit. It's going to sit for us. We're kind of backed up with like a lot of stuff like that right now, too. So we kind of got to be more picky. Like I said, throw that stuff up on eBay. You'll probably get the price you want for maybe a little bit more. Probably pass on the hat, too. Just 20. It's kind of too much. We usually buy a hatch pretty low. Where would you buy it at then? Probably just pass. This hatch kind of don't do well. Gotcha. For us, that's 240 right there. I don't know what he said. Uh, about cool. these. Yeah, these and these. Can you throw those in if I bought that for you? I wouldn't be able to throw them in just like that. How about 90? Yeah, yeah, I would do that. 90. 90 and yeah. those? Yeah, let's do it. So what's the total of all that? Should be 330. Last at 240. If you don't mind. Okay, so I might take either these. No, I gotta, I gotta. No, just sell them. Yeah, take your time. These, these peel off, right? Like there's something on Yeah, so there's like a whole nother layer under it. So like the, the under layer is like all orange. Not all orange, but majority orange. There's a stash pocket in there too. Oh, like the tribe? Or? Yeah, this is like a uh, like a weed and flower. Um, oh, I see it. Oh, that's so cool. Came in, looking for the threes. I don't even know how to say them. I'm on my nears. Those <laughs> didn't have them because they sold pretty fast. Second option, these. So, my bad. All right, man. Thank you. No problem. You want a bag, bro? Uh, I actually, no. Can I get the stuff out of the shoe? I forgot it last time. The all oh, the bags and stuff you want. Yeah, I forgot all this? that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's for these shoes, bro. Oh, I was trying to get some work done. I got some stuff done, but I had to pop back in here. Got a little hectic, so I started to help these guys out a little bit. I'll start oh, off here real hold quick. Up, hold up. Before you say any of that, Berwin secured his first sale. <laughs> Shout out to B Dubs. <laughs> that is, that is first, um, he said, you know, the black toe that came in yesterday, dude was looking for like something OG. They were kind of smoked, so I, I wasn't even gonna bother asking it. Burr was like, yo, we got some black toes, 2013, top 10. I was like, yeah, we do. AG's wearing them today. Something the about the 2013 pair, man, the way the tongue is, it's just something about this pair, man. I have DS pairs in the cut in my size that I'll probably undead stock soon because I don't know, just something about these, Maybe just memories more. of me wearing them and getting them and, uh, like, again, when I got these, they weren't worth anything. So that, that makes it even better for me. It's just like, I was wearing something that people weren't really messing with. And I was just like wearing them all the time. Classics like this just always look good. So as you can see here, we got a couple different sneakers. We bought these from some clients of ours who come in often. Here we got the Air Jordan 12 Low Easter. Not really my thing, but I could see these as a hood favorite, a pop-out shoe. Again, we need size 12s and 13s in here. So anytime we can get any inventory in those sizes, we try to get them. Uh, some Raging Bull 5s, which again, I'm going to continue buying. I really like that sneaker. So I'm going to continue to buy it. Uh, 
some Carmine Sixes. Now, Carmines, I heard through the grapevine, restocked today at Paramus Nike Outlet. So obviously, this this video is gonna come out in like a month or so. So it doesn't matter that I'm like giving that up. So we gotta obviously continue to buy these at around retail because they're gonna continue to pop up at outlets. But again, just classic sneaker that I'm not gonna stop buying because they're at outlets. Like it doesn't matter. I still want this sneaker on the shelf in multiple sizes so people can purchase it. Last but not least, on my end, we have a sneaker that I'm probably gonna take home. Air Jordan 13 Red Flint. Again, Once it's I saw the size. I was like, yeah, I you know, he got me there. I had to, I had to grab these. Shouts to him for uh, bringing them by. But you know, they're cool, man. Not as good as a, a blue flint. Jordan, you said these are better, right? Better than the 2020 pair. So better than the blue flints. Yeah. The 2010. Yeah. The 2010 <laughs> pair, I think, is better just because the color. The well, yeah, that's. I mean, lighter. apples and oranges, lemons and lemonade. You know, <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I like 13s, and again, uh, this is just a good shoe. I'm gonna tuck away into the collection. Don't know if I'll ever wear it, don't know when I'll wear it, but it's not bad, man. It's definitely not a bad shoe. I think these are definitely, they have potential to uh, do numbers. If this sneaker was a PE version, or if this sneaker had like a little number here, or something like that, it's just crazy to me that stuff like this comes out and like, no one cares. It's like, oh, okay, go for retail. StockX 210, 220, oh, no one cares. It's not cool anymore. You know what StockX and GOAT say about a shoe doesn't make it cool or not to me. So there's that. Gary, okay, remember that. You know, that's that's an intern lesson. Just because someone says something isn't cool doesn't mean it's not. Like, I remember growing up, I remember a friend of mine, Military Force came out. I doubled or tripled up, and he's just like, shout out to everyone who got Military Force. They're sitting, and? <laughs> like, they're sitting because they're sitting. It doesn't mean I, I, I won't buy 10 pairs because I love the shoe. A lot of shoes don't sit now because everyone's a reseller. Everyone's, a, you know, entrepreneur. Everyone has StockX at their disposal so they can make $5 in profit after fees. So it is what it is, man. Man, everyone wants to make money and I feel them on that. These guys are <laughs> laughing at me, man. No, don't no, let me at you. All right, cool. Next up, Gary, <laughs> talk about this stuff. And then Jordan will talk about that stuff. Uh, so we just had a, a good buyout. Some French blues. If you know, you know. Do you know? I do know, actually. <laughs> you know. No cat, no cat. And they're very clean. We got a good price on these. Knicks, you know, the Knicks are doing hot right now. So if you shout out to anybody who's size 12, come get your Knicks. Got a Carmine again. Nothing to, to say about these. All right. All I'm going to say is... What's when... funny is I feel like we were all excited for the Carmines to come out. And like, nah, one of them was like, more like, or cared about them. these guys. Yeah, like, I was. <laughs> Yo, I was too. Those <laughs> 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 It goes back to like if someone if you work like well, I'm fortunate enough to work at a sneaker store. Word. Fortunate enough that a bread one came in. Who the hell is not gonna trade a oh, car okay. well, yeah, that's it. But Come I'm just saying, yeah, in general, saying? I still I you're still not the only ones. Like I think a lot of people out there like yeah. were super excited for car mines. I'd say more than fifty percent of them sold their pair or like just don't care anymore. I, I'm I still like really like this shoe. I still yeah, think it's, it's a really so fire shoe. I've been seeing like a lot of people pull up some fire fits. Like he said, like the price because what they're going for don't really mean nothing to me. Like if it's fire is fire and i think that's the cool thing about working here we all buy stuff that we like whether it's expensive or retail yeah. on the retail or if jordan's like you're bugging that's whack or right. like you know vice that's versa it. and that's daily for me it it is. Is. All <laughs> wrong. i'd be wrong i'd be wrong <laughs> I'll no, say, but I'm not. I'm just saying for no. personal use. Like, oh, yeah. it's like Jordan might not like something I like. You know what I mean? And that's like, what it is. We like, have our different opinions. That yeah, that's what makes. And that's game that's cool what it should be, right? And it shouldn't matter like what something goes for. Like, but like this Knicks three was sitting on shelves. No one cared, right? It was going for 170, 160, 180, lower than retail. No one cared. Now all of a sudden people care because they're going for 400 on gold. Like, it's whack. It's like whack. Room. It is whack. W whack. Whack 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 whack. Crack is whack. Whack. Super whack. Whack. Pull that AG, you'll smell the leather. I mean, look. That's a classic. That's a, shoe, that's a clean thing. Oh, yeah. Speaking of spell the leather, I mean. That's why I just said you it. Know, you know, timestamp on the YouTube video 2019. I mean. Mm. We was filming. Talk Top Shelf Kicks had some stuff up there. We was filming transactions in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so all of you on YouTube were crying like, we just like started filming content. No. Uh -huh. I just decided to actually hire someone and like not be lazy. But, you know, check, go back. You know what I mean? You know? So. Uh Originators. I was in that video. He was in that video. I was, I was actually in that video. <laughs>
So that says a lot. Probably got CTE. But <laughs> <laughs> we got some uh, Air Max Plus TN Supremes. This is probably my favorite color out of all of them. I don't know. This is like a really cool shoe. It's like really loud and really calm at the same time. Traded these in. A Travis Scott T. Um, Cost T. This shoe right here. This is. My bad. This shoe right here, like he said, this was his first six that he ever bought. He just got it during quarantine. It's funny enough, this was also my first six pair of sixes that I ever used my own money for. Are the business playing tonight? It might be. Throw money on Sadiq Bay or Jeremiah Grant. Kids do not bet. Nah, I like this shoe, but it's starting to separate here and back here. But again, he basically threw these in. The last piece right here, this new Travis Scott Jordan t-shirt that just released. Double XL. It's pretty fire. It's big money you know. right there. Look at the back, look at the back. Whoa! I didn't know what this was until I seen the Cactus Trail. I thought it was just like a Jordan collab, like an off-white. Yeah, he traded that for the Maui Wowies or Hawaii, whatever you want to call them. He wanted a shoe, didn't have because it's sold. If you see something you like on the story, on the post. Well, he lives in New York, so. Like if you see something you like, Venmo, call. Zelle, Venmo, or PayPal, you can, Cash App, Apple Pay. You, you can put a, you you could, put a you payment down. You could put down. money in an yeah. envelope and <laughs> tag it to a pigeon. You, you could <laughs> put it in the, you could, Give us tracking number of the money you put in the envelope sent to us. It will hold it. Just give no, do it on the yeah, horse. Word, if you guys really it. want the shoes, we'll just put a payment. It's 2021, down. man. Word. Put a payment down and be good money. DM Gary. Word. Don't DM <laughs> us. Just Gary, DM Gary. Gary. Don't DM me. <laughs> Don't DM us. Just DM Gary all the time, multiple times. Oh no. Over and over. His profile is not locked. It's open. It so is open. Closed mouths don't get fed, so if you see something you like, go ahead, call, DM, we'll hold the shoe for you if you, you know, pay in advance. But yeah, some good stuff came in, and then, you know, package some stuff. Um, there's another piece somewhere, yep. Yeah. Booty giant stuff going to oh, Philly. Right. They're gonna, mm. I realized that after, I was like, damn. Man. They're gonna stone them down there in Philly, man. Don't wear that stuff. Yeah, it's, whoa, 5.30 already. Time is flying by, hour and a half left. Yeah, let's see what the rest of the day holds. It's definitely gonna be pretty yeah. low, so. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing like any anything in mind on your end for him? Where are your size 12s that he wants? It's kind of all scattered. Um, are you looking for anything particular? Or I know we got the Carmine sixes. We got those right there, the Easter 12s, those. Just got some French blue 12s. These are size 12s? Not all of them. Just, they just came in today. This would be tough just because the wear on the bottoms of them. If you were to do store credit, I'd assume you're probably looking at like in the 70 range. 70. Yeah, it might be worth holding on to them, selling them on your own or something. But you know, see if you find anything. You want to swap? Yeah. All right, cool. Do you need a bag for that or? Uh, you good? Yeah. Alright, I'll be following out, you guys. But uh, like, like, we, oh, we usually yeah. try to get out. My steps on is real big on oh, really? sneakers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, okay, that's what cool. he does, and he's got me into it. He's got me, right, yeah. his mother into it. So yeah. Okay, what are you looking for for this? Anything in mind at all? Shoot me an offer, huh? <laughs> I don't really know what they're going for. I just got the Travis Scotts. Oh, Waiting for really? those to come in. Uh, yeah, I yeah. just got the the um the Shadows 2.0. Mm -hmm. Just got those the the early access today. Damn, yeah, yeah. She just got the Rust. So yeah, whole family. <laughs> Thank you, man. Come and bless me at least. Huh? Yeah, bless you, you know? What's up, yo? Hey, we've been we've been trying, man. We've been trying. What do you think the best you could do, man? Because it's weird. Because I think like obviously everyone didn't get their best yet, and it's funny. I actually hit two two XLs. Not that that matters. Ooh, but I guess two what XL, are these? It's a little easier to get than others. I wasn't even expecting it. Like yeah. I just said, let me click on it and see what I can do. What do you think? I mean, what do you think? I don't know. Just because it's so early, honestly, I think if I took it, I'd probably only be at retail just because I feel like, like I didn't even get mine yet. And I got yeah. two, two XLs, one from Travis, one from Nike. So I feel like once they all come in, they're going to end up around that price. They are cool pieces. Yeah. But I'm just not sure, you know what I mean? I don't know how they'll do. If I didn't have any coming in, I would definitely buy it yeah. for like a better price. It's just, I have two coming in, so it's kind of like, okay, okay. you know. Do you guys have like a number or anything? Cause I tried calling the number that's on the website and it said it was disconnected or something. It's not a service. Really? Yeah. What was that? You have that number handy? Hey, if he brushes his teeth. Oh, hold on one second. All right, you know, I'll just write, you know, I'll write, you know, I'll write, you know, I'll write, you <laughs> Yeah, that's how I got out here, yeah. Yeah, that should be the number to the store. Okay, and yeah. I don't know if the number that's on there is... Yeah, I'm not sure. But all right, then thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate you can hold it, on to it, right? Guys, we're back. We are closing up shop. It's Thursday. We're about to drop episodes. So, shout out to everyone who watches the episodes and the content. Um, shout out to everyone who likes and subscribes to our YouTube channel. We just got some phone calls regarding some buyouts. Guys, it's really hard to tell you guys an exact price over the phone. Obviously, brand new stuff, we could roughly do so. But we don't want to give anyone a price and then they show up and it's a different price. So, what's brand new to you might not be brand new to us and what's very lightly used to you might not be very lightly used to us so usually guys if you're local just pull up with whatever you have for sale bring it to us and we can try to make the best offer to our ability other than that gentlemen 
Do you have anything to say? Going off what A said, just pull up, man. If you're local, just pull up. It's a lot easier to go through negotiations um, in person, out of the phone, where we can't see the shoe over the phone. We're not mind readers. We don't know what you want for your shoe. If you got a shoe you want to sell, like they said, come in, have a price ready. It makes things a lot easier. It makes things better. Yeah, like some of the calls we get are crazy. It's just like, I don't understand it. People are asking, like, say what size. If they're new, we can give you a price. If they're used, we can't. But at the same time, we have to see the shoe. What's new to someone, right? Like earlier we had a kid come in with Yeezys that I thought were used. He said they were new. To me, that's not new. I'm not going to sell that shoe to someone that was new because it didn't look new. The other thing I was going to say before I forget, at the end of the day, just remember this store and every other sneaker store like this, uh, we provide a service, right? We pay for items. We buy them. We trade for them. We make you guys offers. At the end of the day, we're providing a service to you guys, right? Like it is what it is. There's not many places you can go, but out of the, all the spots that you can go, you can go shop around and see who's going to make you the best offer or whatever. But if you're looking to sell something, you have to remember that like, don't take it for granted that we're offering you cash for your merchandise right we're taking the whole load of selling and trading and dealing with all the refunds and chargebacks and paypal disputes and ebay don't get me started on the money i lose on ebay from uh bad transactions or ups losing my mail or fedex overcharging me or usps losing my mail etc so you know there's a lot of costs in doing business we cut out the middleman you guys can come straight here and we provide that service for you just like every other store does in the area or you know any other area so just remember that when you guys go into this store or any other store just be respectful and just remember like the stores are providing you with service we're buying your items from you for cash there's not many places you can go and just get cash for your items so just remember that you know stay respectful and stay stay blessed you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take a one and done and then these two guys will probably shoot after that don't forget to like comment and subscribe shout out to everyone who's been doing that see you guys tomorrow i'm looking bad today i'm not gonna lie bucky smell today Damn, I beat y'all last, last Tuesday. That's on camera? I don't hey. know what he's talking about. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I'll play y'all again today. Alright, one, 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 one. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, no, let me follow it up now. I gotta follow it up now. Come on, man, that's a walk away. You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> Alright, peace. Peace.